so we have masked the last and we are starting with our center line you can see the center line so after drawing the center line you draw your counter line this is our counter line you can see it our counter line and then after that we are going to measure our instep point which is one inch that is where the pattern that is here where the collar has to start from and then we locate our power guard that's our lateral board point we locate it on both sides and then place your tape this way and you take your vamp line the vamp line so the lateral ball point is where the widest part of the last is touching the flat surface and here is your vamp point vamp point here is the vamp point so you can see the vamp line this is the vamp line and here is the vamp point so now we are going to get our lateral quarter line so firstly we measure from here to here two and a half inch that is our counterpoint our counterpoint you measure two and a half inch up to this place that is our counterpoint so without this point we can get our lateral quarter line so well we're going to also divide this vamp line into two half which is um, around one and a half so here is one and a half the total is three inch so the half should be one and a half inch so you place your tape this way across from the counterpoint and use a masking tape to hold the tape so that you can be able to get the line correctly so make sure the tape is on your low lateral instep point here is the counter line and here is your low lateral instep point and then you take the lateral quarter line so that is that so now we are going to start the drawing. So we are done with the drawing, the next thing we are going to cut the pattern out. I'm going to first of all draw a straight line on the cardboard paper so that I can place uh, the pattern properly on the right angle. 
so the straight line within the cap area is going to be aligned on that straight line we have to take it um, gradually uh, we don't need to rush it so we have to take our time to make sure we place it properly so now we are going to give here some cuts As you are cutting make sure you don't cut your drawing so don't cut where your pencil has a drawing so just cut beside them I'm just trying to make sure that the pattern lies properly so that is why we have to take our time So we are done with the pasting. The last thing we are going to do now is to add our lasting allowance. So I'm going to pick a compass and a pencil and I'm going to be measuring uh, a lasting allowance from my, from my tape. I'm going to be taking the measurement of uh, one inch as the lasting allowance, one inch. So, and then uh, let me cut this out so that I can be able to be moving this around. So you use your compass to add the lasting allowance. So after that, um, let me make these lines visible. After that, we are going to cut it into shape. You make sure your vamp line is visible so you have to extend it down to the 
lasting allowance so that's all we now cut it into shape so now you after cutting it into shape you cut out your marking dots with your razor blade cut out the all the segments of the pattern so that you can be able to mark it out so now we are going to be springing the vamp we have drawn a straight line on our cardboard paper and uh, let's retrace our vamp line and also we are going to take a line from the lace that's the cone the instep that's here this line here make sure your ruler is on the line and then you mark where it intersected here at the cap area it is going to help us spring the vamp so you see the mark here so we're going to place place the pattern this way straight part around the cap area is going to lie on the line here is your vamp line you mark here too to know where the pattern stopped in case it moves so let me use this to hold the pattern so that it won't move I start my marking from this area watch closely to see where I'm marking out I'm going to mark out the cap that is the cap area as we are going to mark out as you are marking it you have to mark out everything about it even the medallion the brook lines you have to mark them out So once you are done doing that, you see this vamp line, you see your lateral quarter line where they met here. You place your compass, hook it, make sure you pin it, and then you're going to rotate the pattern upwards, watch the instep line, make sure it aligns with the straight line, and also your mark on the other cap area. Understand? So that is it so make sure the instep line is on the straight line here and the mark here remember the line here so now we are going to mark out the rest of the parts of the pattern so the other half we're going to mark it out So now you can see we have the pattern in another shape. Hope you can see that. So we're going to mark out the dotted lines with our razor blade. 
um, I'm not going to be using the spring bevel because I want to show you a more easier way you can still achieve the same result so if you find it difficult springing the bump you can use this method i'm going to use i'm going to be using the original pattern so you see um, the details so we just cut this one into shape use our blade to cut out all the marked out dots so that we can be able to separate the pattern so but i'm going to use the original pattern so i'm going to show you it is more easier because you might make mistake while trying to spring the thumb so let's cut this one into shape So what I'm using now is the original pattern, like I said before, the unspring the vamp. You understand? So now I have marked out the cap area. So let me just use the this uh, French curve to put all the curves in shape. So firstly, you just mark out this cardboard is into two two equal parts. So I folded it. Fold it into two then you mark out the cap place the line on the center of the cardboard paper where you folded mark out the cap you can see it so and the medallion too so you're going to punch the medallion and then cut the dots for the marking then cut it into shape so we're going to cut this one out too center and mark it out so just to make sure the line is you see where I placed the pattern then after marking you spread it now this is the cap the wing for the cap so place it on this particular drawing this quarter place it make sure the center lines aligns center line of the cap wing and then the other quarter make sure you set it properly then after setting it you take a shape take the drawing take it this way this is where they met so make sure that just to get the proper shape so you can see that now you can see it so we fold it into two once more now we're going to put some place into shape this is um, the joining allowance so I'm still going to call this one into shape. So you can see what we have here. So you see the two is ready. So you can see. So folded it into two before I call the marking dots and the medallion. I punched it and then you open it. It appears on the other side. The marking dot. You spread it. So the same thing goes to this one. You cut the marking dots and then you spread. It appears on the other side. So now let's mark out the other quarter. Here, this area. Down here and here. So that's where we're going to mark out now. So we have done that. So I have marked out the lace together with the collar opening. So you place it on this quarter to make sure it took the shape. You understand? Place it, arrange it to make sure it took the shape on this quarter.
and then you take you trace it you trace it trace it this will give you accuracy understand to give you accuracy so you see I have added my folding allowance with my compass this way understand so just half inch that's the measurement and also here half inch so now you can see that we have put the curve here in order so this one too you place it on this side where it's supposed to lie here so make sure that it's rhymed understand trace it also trace it also so that is that so now let's cut out the counter so that we can confirm that too So you fold your cardboard paper into two equal parts. So now you place this one at the edge of that two folding. Place it very close. So you see our curve. You see our counter curve. So here has to be on the straight line. Then you mark out the counter. So have marked out our marking lines you can see that so you place it on this part where it is going to meet with this one too on this area and then you make sure it's in, it's in place so you trace it too the reason you have to do all this is to give you accuracy on the joints understand so that when you call the pattern you just join it without having any gap so now we're going to add our this is allowance here we're going to be adding our joining allowance around this um, quarter so remember we are using half inch so we're going to add it round down from down here and also here so just with our compass so to get to your tongue you fold your cardboard paper into two also then you place it you now we have our dot for the tongue so you place it this way and then you mark out the tongue area so you mark out down from here down here you see it and then you add your stitching allowance down there then you cut it into shape and then you open you have your tongue so now we are almost done with the pattern so um let's set it and see what we have so um let's try and uh, see how it looks remember the pattern we used was the unspring 2d pattern so you might not just stress yourself trying to spring a vamp because you might make mistake if you really cannot do it or if you can do it good and fine but i i think uh, this method is more easier so um once you arrange the pattern this way you see everything is just lying in place this is uh this is going to show you that you got the pattern correctly you understand
so you can see that so um let's go to a brief summary so after cutting this and you must have marked half of this you now align this one make sure the center line is where you have to concentrate and then you mark it out you mark it out <coughs> and then this one you have to confirm all the angles with the rest of the quarter so first confirm the collar opening make sure it's in shape you trace it to confirm the shape and then you add your lasting or uh, your sorry your stitching or joint allowance and then you also place this one where it's supposed to meet with it and then you confirm that it is in shape also so you trace two likewise the counter you do the same thing make sure it's in shape too then you add your joint allowance or station allowance so remember this one the counter you have to add extra allowance have to add extra allowance here you have to fold um, through the opening then you cut your dots and then spread it appears on the other side same applies on this fold cut your dots and it appears also to this so I think um, you see you call the dots for this one too um, I think um, that's the much we can take. Uh, feel, feel free to ask any question in the comment section if there is any part you don't understand. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get updates as soon as our next and our new video drops. So Let's, this is our tongue. So here we go. So this is the 2D pattern we sprained the vamp. So you just cut, uh, mark out the counter, mark out this part, mark out the cooler. You use the same process, then this water, and then the cap, and then you develop it. So if you're able to spring the vamp, you use the method. Thank you.